popular opinion suggests that electric mobility is our future. The world, including India, is pushing for electric vehicles very, very strongly. And uh, vehicles like the Hyundai Kona electric that I'm sitting in right now make you kind of see why that is happening because uh, you get all the comforts of a regular car, you get plenty of features, plenty of space. It's a hugely capable product. We've lived with it for a fair few months now and we've been pretty impressed with the car. And the best part is of course the fact that tailpipe emissions are zero. But it isn't just the car that needs to play its part. That it already is doing. With the Hyundai Kona Electric, you get a zero emissions vehicle. To realize our vision of a cleaner and greener tomorrow, we need to adapt a more holistic approach to the whole concept. And part of that holistic approach involves moving on from traditional sources of power like thermal, like the thermal power plant you see behind me, towards more sustainable, renewable forms of energy. And the country currently has a huge untapped potential, one of which is solar power. We are steadily progressing towards increasing the share of solar power in our overall power generation. And it is now, I think, time to say goodbye to the old and say hello to the new. India receives about 5,000 trillion kilowatt hour of solar radiation per year, among the highest in the world with an estimated solar power potential of 750 gigawatt and the current installed capacity of over 37,000 megawatt, India ranks amongst the top five globally in terms of solar capacity. And that is certainly a matter of pride. Moving forward, India intends to increase the share of renewable energy, which currently accounts for around 36% of the total power generated. And solar power is said to play a major role in helping cars renewable energy a bigger slice of the pie. Scaling up solar power generation also bodes well for domestic manufacturing of solar cells and modules. The JBM solar plant you see on your screens here is located in Hisar district in Haryana. The solar farm is spread across 90 acres and boasts an installed capacity of 20 megawatts. It comprises 66,680 modules of 315 watt each. The solar plant works in conjunction with the grid, generating enough to cater to the power needs of the town of Sivani nearby. According to the latest figures, the share of solar power in India's total installed capacity is 9.4%. India has been rapidly ramping up overall solar power generation. From 2.6 gigawatt in March 2014, the total capacity rose by 11 times over the next 5 years reaching 30 gigawatt in July 2019, according to data shared by the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. By 2022, the target is to achieve 100 gigawatt of solar capacity. Electric cars like the Hyundai Kona rarely make you miss conventional petrol or diesel-powered vehicles. With a claimed range of around 450 kilometers, it got us from our office in Noida to Hisar in Haryana, 207 kilometers away, with plenty of charge left for us to drive down to the JBM solar farm as well as the Rajiv Gandhi thermal power plant, which added about 100 kilometers to the journey. And all this with the air conditioning on, along with ventilated seats and liberal use of all that talk on offer for overtakes out on the highway. In fact, the Kona Electric was our vehicle of choice for our world record drive last year that saw us register the shortest time taken to cross Europe in an electric car from the northern extreme in Norway to the southernmost point in Spain. Practical EVs are already here and with the pace at which solar power production is being ramped up, a future with a drastic reduction in pollution levels seems more real than ever before. If you like the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and for more automotive content, do remember to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time we go live with a video on Auto Today.